K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. I just not turned out they got the team colors on the pre starting lineup show. just announced. One, We're just about set for nine, basketball. Two, we'll be back in a moment. So this is gonna be a double header because the back to back games on the schedule. Teams I don't particularly care about. So I'm like, <laughs> let me go ahead so glad to have and get with us on this journey. Indiana with in now. Grant Hill and Doris Burke. This is Brian Anderson. Play is them. Joining us from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. And a look at Minnesota's opening lineup. The backcourt is Russell and Edwards. Carl Anthony Towns is out there about with Jared and, Vanderbilt. And, and it's McDaniels in at the three. The small forward. And for the Pacers. Warren and Sabonis, the duo at forward. T.J. McConnell is out there with Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Turner in at the center position. Nothing more exciting than opening day in the NBA. Grant, I forgot to fix Sabonis' jersey right right now. now. Oh, they are so pumped indeed. I mean, look, the offseason can be a long one, but every player loves when the games really start to They count. got an A-home court advantage for real. The and the Pacers start out with the ball. A new lineup here for Indiana. Right. See, I'm playing as Isaiah Baseball Jackson. Morrow. Now quiet so far. I play for the inbounder to get the ball back. To the game. Nice read. Pass to Noel. Two minutes remaining in the first two minutes. Out to the right wing. Here's Balmaro. Lamb covering. Here's Reed. A I don't slam dunk by Reed. <laughs> Making the most of the second chance opportunity. Hey, the I don't is real and the he ain't is grabbed rewarded. the ball, bro. <laughs> Here's Oladipo. What is, what is going on right now? There's an offense. 34 though. left in the first quarter. Jackson, right side. Grease, grease, grease. And the layup is good off the glass. How you need that rebound? Late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Here's Noel inside. Reed, good. Reed's got six. I just love his approach coming into tonight. Focused and aggressive. Well, you look at the tools of Nas Reed. They are impressive. This guy can protect the rim and step outside. What, the what more could you want from a developing big? Now here's Smith. Pass to Oladipo. Here's Duarte. Just five to shoot. My bad, Lamb. That's both to you. Indiana needs to get a shot off. And Oladipo hit from deep. And the Pacers lead by five. Well, the rise and fire from Victor Oladipo. The team is feeding off him right now. Oladipo against T. Now Reed. There's the triple. He, he shoots three. Knocks down the triple. This game is Nine points shit, in the bro. game. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. So he didn't got seven damn points like that. T against Oladipo. Yo, what the? F this damn program bullshit, bro. It's Oladipo with the finish. We sat there for 20 seconds for that play to happen. When he could have just went and did that shit when I was over there setting the screen in the first damn place. Outside T. From outside the arc. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. It's been all about Demona Sabonis for Indiana. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And the 14th pick in 2014, T.J. Warren, a smooth shooter who puts a little sandpaper in his game, facing off against the best. I'm looking forward to it, uh, like I say all the time. It's a blessing to be able to challenge and play against the best players night in and night out. So I'm always excited for uh, a matchup. And no doubt, Warren is not backing down. And in the past, we've seen him get into it with the likes of Jimmy Butler. And go, man. I mean, he embraces the challenge. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. 
All right, let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Pacers so far, guys. The aggressiveness on defense has been infectious. Everyone's come to the party. I love it. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. We've got Aaron Holiday. Jeremy Lamb is out there with Jackson, and it's Dorte in a two-guard. So that's the group out there for Indiana. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, B.A. The Minnesota Timberwolves and their sister franchise, the Lynx, under new management, or at least that's the plan starting in 2023. A key part of the sales agreement was stipulation that the teams remain in Minnesota, something that's got to make the fans in the Twin Cities very happy. Oh, that's great news, Allie. Thanks for that. Here's Culver after the basket by Indiana. That ties it up. Hernan Gomez. Gomez has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Okay, you with can 10 points, see bro. the vision and instincts of Jarrett Culver, able to spot the wide open man. And they let anybody hit a fucking three. Outside Holiday to the paint. I had to press that Holiday twice. Holiday huh? to the middle. And then they froze oh, me in the fucking paint so no I can get the three seconds. And plays like that yeah, one can make the difference in a close game. Oh, man. And it definitely got the Damn, man, you know, 2K, too. man. Yeah, Wrestling and basketball. Y'all just program some horrible-ass shit, man. Attack. And Minnesota has possession. Following the bucket by the Pacers. Here's Beasley. It's tipped. Beasley made the smart play and passed it back out. Right side land. Fades and shoots. The offensive rebound. Jackson. Oh, a clear foul there. That, on the what the shot. fuck was so that? How did he go laying it up with one hand and then in the middle of the air, switch it to the other hand to finish a layup? Yeah, let's take a moment here to get your what was that? Guys on the scoring so far for Indiana. This is why I made the commitment to get out and run. And Man. it's paid off right. with some highlight real plays in transition. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points that they've gotten off turnovers. Good on the second one. Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. Beasley outside. Like, why did I even go in I said, no. As soon as they let him get past him, that's a damn dunk animation. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Holiday passes to Sabonis. They go to the ball. He ain't even know how to pass the ball out. Okay, too okay. good. Here's Noel. He's covered by Holiday. Here's the three, and another three for Minnesota. For three. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Timberwolves. Their frenetic defense has been impressive, putting ball handlers on the defensive and turning them over. As Why well. is he just standing there? Why does he just at least move, bro? Damn. Holiday from long range. Here's Jackson. Yep, that one goes. Jackson, Jackson. Look at Lee just have him skip well, over three feet. Something, damn. Him at the rim. There's too much of a differential in terms of size. Timeout called the Timberwolves. A big group substitution here for Indiana. So it's the Indiana Pacers in a good situation, up by 13 points to close the quarter. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Well, I'm here with Coach Rick Carlisle. A hot start. Coach, what did you like about this team's execution what is offensively? In? Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. Kings, Queens, doing money. The money. 2K Sports Halftime Show. Kings, Queens, don't matter. Kick quarters down muddy. Uh, nah. Kick quarters down. May? It was a anyway. big time first quarter for Damanis Sabonis. He had 11 points and four assists. What'd you think, Shaq, about Indiana? 
they came out with the right mindset. That's what I'm talking about right there. They just say first hard quarter. driving. Early they say like the first quarter on the game. Yeah, they keep eight it points. up. Unstoppable. Okay, how about eight you? Points. What'd you see from the Timberwolves? They've been out of sync in this one. Speak under. Struggling to create good looks and settling for tough shots. I like to see them drive the basketball more and get easy buckets. I'm thinking I'm not going to end up playing the second half at all. They gave me all my minutes now. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, Carl Anthony Towns has been exceptional here, guys. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far unstoppable. He's giving it to uh, Miles Turner, huh? And so the Pacers take the win. I'm oh, sure they would have preferred a blowout victory. Always home to win. And so true, but you have to credit the crowd for giving them such a big boost toward the end. It really kept this team. Why do they high. always have the score so well, damn high? Now we have high, some time man. to check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, thank you so much. I'm here with T.J. Warren. T.J., you were looking for your shot tonight, and it was falling for you. All right, Ali, thank you. That concludes the first game of the NBA season for Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team. This is Brian Anderson signing off. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. But look, none of these dudes scored. Why are they? Oh, my God, man. Why? But he was four for fourteen. The child over three. Gave up man points. Five point two rebounds. Hi and welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. Get the real good announced team for the game. I ain't really gonna play. Add the new socks onto the game, but they can't the fix the damn socks. For the creative the point team. The point guard position Fast. in particular, much more scoring expected than in decades past. Yeah, you got to be a, a triple threat at every position. And it's a completely new group for San Diego. Playing out of my boy and Chris Dunn. And let's check out the scoring breakdown here for Chicago. I've got Guys, the they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. They've also racked up a ton of points off of turnovers so far in tonight's game. So for Chicago right now, Young out there with Lowry Markkinen. Then there's Dosumu. Then there's Dunn. And it's Cornette in at the five down low. Here's Markkinen. That's in. Coming off an assist from Dunn. No, give me an assist. Markkinen's got five points so far. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. And uh, 101 left here in the opening quarter. They say it's Bud Webb. Still out here dunking in today. Oh! And that's the kind of aggressive attitude Stevenson brings to the table. He's not going to sit back and settle for jump shots. If he can attack the basket, man, he will. And on the AT&T 5G slam cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Done with it. He's picked up by Collins. 
Get your dumb ass. Oh my god, this dude fucked up the damn play. That's why his ass 13 man, bro. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. That is young. Two shots. Fucking up the damn animation. No good on the free throw. Wow, what did he have something in his eye on that shot? Maybe. And the serve making a change here. Nee Smith has checked in. And he sinks the second. And, and very quietly, Young just continues to be an efficient player. A multi-talented swingman who does a little bit of everything. Driving to the basket. And the basket by Webb. Three of four to start. Young fella came to play. Chicago leading by three. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Don attacking. And that one is good. Chris, what Dunn. insane body control by Dunn driving straight into the heart of the defense and burying the shot. Oh, even oh, the 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 give this damn and there's the whistle that goes on Chris Dunn. That's his first foul of the game. Damn, the I just got in the game. I'm already sweating like that. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the shot. game right here. And he knocks down the first one. So Webb nails both of them. And when you talk about Webb, the, the obstacles he's had to overcome, always being doubted because of his height. But here he is, one of the most talked about players in the NBA. Oh, and the dunk by Dunn. Nice there, getting the reverse. Love that. And, and the fans got a little bit of a show there. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. Webb. Can't answer back with the dunk of his own. Let's hope for his sake that he does not try that one ever again. A free flowing first quarter. Great score. But we're bad so damn fast. Lead by five. <laughs> Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Okay. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. Guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. San Diego trails what the? Marking in on the double team. Outside Collins. This dumbass. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. And for Chicago, they've got Lowry Markinen. Chris Dunn is out there with those two. Throw a lob, but okay. And it's Cornet in at the five, roaming the paint. And you gotta like the vision for Markinen. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. And Markinen out of Finland, Greg, was one of the hot oh, names in free agency this last year. This hasn't been getting the damn way out for that a damn better chance of getting the extension. Yeah before the Checking season for Chicago. just hard to find exactly. seven footers that can shoot like marketing you knew at least a few teams would try and lure him away the Bulls making a switch here Levine's checked in that's to Neesmith and it's blocked oh and a fast break for the Bulls Dunn misses Bruh. It's tipped and stolen by Dunn. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Yes, Good on the bucket. There's just no way you are stopping Dunn when he's that close to the bucket. A, a skilled finisher and amazing athlete. Webb the pass to Collins. And there's the whistle that goes Damn. on Dunn. Okay, come on, bro. And that's the tough part of now trying to keep him balls. on the floor. Now he picks up that third foul. Abdul Jabbar's checked in for San Diego. And he's going to play me the game away, so that's what Williams has checked in. Here in the second quarter with uh, a little over a minute gone. Now here's Neesmith. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Six on the shot clock. Connects from three point range. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. 
Done against Webb. Done shots. Good. Why they got him doing his old weak ass plays, bro? And Dunn Where's Dunn be out here dunking on people, bro? Seeking contact and getting it. He just absorbs the hit, yet still able to finish. Back to Webb. There's the triple. Another three. For That's ridiculous. I gotta do all that He's just to get away from the damn bullshit animation. Down. They gonna have me froze on the damn screen. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Balls See what loose. I'm saying, bro? What the and fuck is going on? And the Bulls making a change also. Felicio's checked in for Luke Cornett. Abdul Raouf against Dunn. And the layup's good off the glass. Dunn's got 12 in the game. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Abdul Raouf, the pass to Abdul Jabbar. My bad. I don't want to steal the ball. Diego cream. moving the ball around. To the right side. Six to shoot. Uh, the computer just did itself dirty. Like it'd be going through dirty. get off a shot. That one wide left. So for Sandy, I want to get to Levine, but shit. Against the Warriors. What is okay? Now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Here's Dunn. Oh, and the dunk by Dunn. And once again, Dunn showing off his all-around game. Not just an incredible shooter, but an unreal finisher on the drive as well. San Diego trails by nine. Abdul Raouf, the pass to Abdul Jabbar. His shot is good, making a perfect two for two from the floor. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Dunn looking over the floor. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, I'll just stand around and shit. We see teams around the league trying to integrate star veterans with talented rookies. Greg, it's not always easy, is it? Not at all, Kevin. And a lot of times it becomes a choice between win now or win later. Though the teams with great coaching and development. Damn, Levine. Oftentimes off the game already? So both teams changing it up here. So he makes both from the line. And Dunn does a little bit of everything out there. Scores the ball, distributes it well, and also pounds the glass aggressively. Here's Camby and slam dunk by Camby. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Here's White going inside. And Why White am I and Derek White on the And love the commitment from White. Took the bump. They took the bean out to put in Derek White. Rewarded. Instead of taking points. San Diego trails by nine. They programmed to let the, the 11, 12, and 13 man only play the first half. Stupid. Johnson against but we Gafford. see when I'm playing the computer, they don't play just the first half. They'll play the second half. They'll play the fourth Ongoing quarter. Ongoing Johnson. He has five. Deep into the fourth quarter. Pass to Abdul Raouf. Over done. It's all in by the Bulls. Pass to Gafford. That's in, coming off yeah, an assist exactly. from Dunn. I don't know what's up with this game where it's like yeah, messing up with the lead movement. Up to 11 now for Chicago. That you can't freely They're move finding anymore. lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Back to Johnson. Outside Harper. Pass to Abdul Raouf. For three, another three. For Look at that. You see how he still had me facing the other way instead of trying to let me turn around for the rebound. That's why you have to stay connected to shooters on the perimeter. 
Yeah, that effort just not good enough because even if that Why defender Wendell was Clark a bit catching. taller, the shooter already locked in. That was dumb as hell. With the basket on the assist from Dunn. Carter's got six points. Yeah, I know he can hit three, but bro, that was dumb as hell. Come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. And Wendell Carter Jr., not the biggest center, Greg, listed at 6'10". In fact, most reports would have him pegged at 6'9". I've been saying, boy, they let Camby shoot three. I'm going to turn this shit off. Footer. Got that seven-four wingspan and great head on his shoulders that levels the playing field with his height. Making the most of the screen, that's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough yep, I went there. Lack of communication on the backside. I love seeing Dunn use his creative side to get these calls. Oh, he is boys. simply amazing Dunn. at putting defenders two, two in a tough spot. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Free throw drops in for Dunn. Well, it's Does, interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on down, the line please. to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. Catching up on the changes for San Diego. Drew Gooden has checked in for Abdul Jabbar. Well, and Hodges up in for Abdul Raouf. He's perfect from the line this time. And they have yet to miss a shot from Man, the I line here run. this quarter. Outside Harper. Here's the pass to Kim. Shoots over Gafford. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Really? When did that happen? And the rejection by Gafford. Why the fuck? See, man, they ain't fixed. They ain't did something to the damn Gafford. game, man. White looking around. Why are we passing? Gafford that? kicks to White. What is this? Cammy going. Okay, so block that block. Track. Seven points in the game. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And there's the whistle Damn that man. goes on Chris Dunn. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Six foot one runs out, and we're heading to halftime. It's the Bulls okay. leading by 10. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny with Jed Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. I ain't no option. You know what I Chris Dunn I led the way in the first half. He had 18 points, two rebounds, and three assists. You could really feel how excited he was to be playing for his new team. Teammates and the coach love it. What do you think, Shaq, about Chicago? They're running the offense beautifully. This one, working for good looks. The confidence looks sky high. It's going to be hard for that defense to disrupt their flow. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? Energy on D was just a disappointment. They were slow to rotate. Communication was bad. No effort. I mean, the intensity on that end of the floor, where it needs to be, was just not there. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. My brother. I'll probably just edit this out the damn video. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. And you know, Chris Dunn has really been making it happen, guys. You know, I don't think he'll top the assist charts this year, but early on he's done a great job of keeping the ball hopping around. You can get into a passing rhythm, and so far all of his have been on point. So the surf win it. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the So he's I had to just turn it down to nine minutes off of ten minutes another, to get to matters, keep the score down twenty points. What had to be done and to send these fans home happy. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brett Berry, Brett. See, I wonder if I had on twelve minutes with the score would be like one eighty five or one seventy nine. 
We'll see you next time. I mean, we already just saw what I have. But we'll, I just put we'll come off the bench and get 18. In nine minutes.